Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Aqueduct Racetrack here on Saturday. It is April the 20th, 2019. I'm going to look at all the stakes races here on closing day from Aqueduct, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit 5 for more selections for race courses around the world, but also check out my Charlestown Classic v video. Also, uh, check out my Federico Tessio video from Laurel. Some great races all across the country today, um, so uh, go join me for those videos and also tomorrow if you like jumps racing a uh, great car tomorrow from a toy um, in France but um, today's closing day from aqueduct uh, one problem <laughs> about today will be the um, the weather we're gonna get a lot of rain here and uh, you'll probably see a sloppy track the turf racing most likely I would guess it, it, it's gonna be off but if they're gonna run one race on the turf they might just run the uh, the sixth race on the turf but other than that it's probably gonna be off but uh, I'm going to cover all bases here, and I'm, I'm going to give you a turf and a dirt selection for the Woodhaven, the sixth race, and, um, you know, just to get you all through. But uh, let's get to the stakes action. We're going to look at races 6, 8, and 9. So races 6, 8, and 9, the sixth race from Aqueduct. It is the Woodhaven stakes. It's purse $100,000 race for three-year-olds here. Field of eight horses. The two horse is a main track only, so seven will hopefully go the distance of ground on the turf of 1,700 meters or a mile and one sixteenth on the outer turf course 1700 a mile 16th and I show the diagram it just gives me that little extra extra second to look down my notes just bear with me my top selection here for the turf will be the number three horse 40 under my top selection for turf was 40 under the three horse and my main track only selection will be the number eight horse five star general so my main track only selection is the eight horse five star general we'll start off with the turf selection the three horse 40 under the real cult by uncle mo Jeremiah Englehart trains. Manny Franco gets the leg up. The horse is most recent out. He came the 2nd of November at Churchill, yielding going one mile on the Breeders' Cup Juvenile Turf. He finished 6th by 4 and a quarter lengths there. He stalked early on. You know, he got caught in the straightaway, but I didn't think he ran half bad. I thought he ran a, a decent race there. He's stepping down in class to his thrilled campaign today, and I think he looks like he's going to be a live horse. This looks like the kind of horse that could possibly be pointed towards that triple turf series this summer here in New York, but, um, you know, like I said, I think it'll run well today. Before that, or or the Triple Turf Series, or possibly even the Penn Mile, or Penn National in a few weeks' time. But um, before the the British Cup, he ran at the uh, at Belmont on a very yielding going mile 16th of the Grade One Pilgrim, or excuse me, Grade Three Pilgrim, where he finished, uh, where he won by three quarters length. He sat back early. He had a really good turn of foot, and he won very nicely. It was a very good run. And he actually didn't pick him that day, but um, he still ran a hell, a hell of a race. And then in Saratoga, mile 16th. And in our turf course, it made special weight 85,000. He won by one and a half. He stalked early on. He got bleed and took off clear. He ran well. He's run three very good races, I thought, but he's run one shit race, but that was on dirt. Uh, if this race is going to be run on the dirt today, I wouldn't back him, but since hopefully if it's run on turf, I, I like him a lot. And I think, uh, like I said, I think he's a good horse here. And at nine to five, I'll take him. He's a shit price, I know. But um, my main track only selection would be the eight horse five star general, the Strio Colt by Distorted Humor. Humor. Arnold Delacour trains. Jersey Joe Bravo picks up the mount. The horse's most recent anarchy the 2nd of March at Turfway. Mom eighth in the grade 3 spiral um, or Jeff Ruby Spakes. He finished 4th by 6.5 lengths. He set the pace early on, but then he just kind of hit the wall. He couldn't stay the distance. The closures got to him. Some like it hop around. It's going to be a great turf horse and a synthetic horse, but he you know, he, he just got to the source at the end and ran a massive race and he was the best horse by a mile. This horse, he just couldn't keep up with him there. Before that, they ran this horse at Tampa, mile 16th in the Sam F. Davis, where he finished 6th by 13 three quarter lengths there. He didn't break all that well, was very wide, and Tampa is a very tiring track. It's a racetrack, you want to see your horses run first off the break. They usually don't win, but it, it gives them body, and it gives them a, you know, it gives them a good work out there, but it, it wasn't his day to win. And then over before that here in New York at Aqueduct, one mile off turf in the Central Park, he won by one quarter on the front and all throughout. It was a very good victory. And then at the slop, at Laurel, one mile in the main special weight 41,000 won by four and a quarter and he took off clear again that day 
He's proven he can run on a sloppy track, and like I said, if this race is going to be run on the dirt, I think he could uh, get away with it on the front end. Remember, this race will be run at a mile on the main track if it's uh, if it's taken off the turf, and uh, like I said, I think the winter mile should suit him. So at 6-1, to one, I'll use him as a main track only selection, but to recap my selection for the 6 from Aqueduct to Woodhaven, my turf selection will be the 3 horse 40 under, and my main track only selection will be the 8 horse 5 star general. So now we're going to head over to race number 8 from Aqueduct. Race number eight from Aqueduct. It's the New York Stallion Stakes. It's uh, going for a purse of two hundred thousand dollars. Race for three-year-old fillies here. Field of nine horses heading to post. A distance of ground of thirteen hundred meters, or the distance of ground of six and a half furlongs on the main track. Thirteen hundred, six and a half. My top selection here, I'm going to go to the number 8 horse who is stone in the road. I'm going to go 8695 in the Super Facta. 8695 Super. My top selection. Let's see if we fix that. Uh, top selection is the 8 horse stone in the road. This uh, 3 year old filly by uh, Bustin Stone, Jeremiah Angleheart trains. Uh, Rajiv Murag picks up the mount. The horse is most recent out and came in 23rd of March at Aqueduct. Six furlongs in the Sakata Stakes. She finished third by four and three quarter lengths. She suffered her first defeat that day. She set the pace early on, and then she just kind of tired out of it, weakened out of it. It wasn't her day to win, um, you know, but they ran some wickedly fast fractions that afternoon. Before that, in the uh, in the Franklin Square, another race where they ran even faster. Six furlongs on uh, February 23rd. She uh, won by three and a half lengths and on the lead all throughout. After not the best beginning, she still took off clear and had a very good victory. It was her best race to date. Levi shows that they also. And then before that, at Aqueduct, six furlongs off 75 claimer. She won by six and a quarter. Another very easy race. She's the quickest horse here. When the wet, when the track gets wet, the speed really holds up and uh, I think she'll really run well. So at uh, two to one, I'll take her. She'll single and multi, but to recount my selection for the 8th from Aqueduct's New York Stallion, I'm going to go with the 8 horse stone in the road. I'm going to go 8695 in the Super Facto. So now let's get to race number 9 from Aqueduct. Race number nine from Aqueduct. It's the New York Stallion Series again. It's going for a purse of two hundred thousand dollars. Race for three-year-olds here. Field of eleven horses. The colts are going here. The distance of ground again thirteen hundred meters, or the distance of ground of six and a half furlongs on the main track. Thirteen hundred, six and a half furlongs. The final race of the meet from Aqueduct. Uh, my top selection. I'm gonna go to the number um, four horse who is Banquet. I'm gonna go four eight five. 11 in the Super Facta. 48511 Super. My top selection is four horse a banquet. The Surreal Colt by Central Banker. Steve Asmussen trains. Joe Bravo picks up the mount. The horse is most recent out and came the 23rd of March at the fairgrounds. A mile and one eighth in the Grade 2 Louisiana Derby. The horse finished seventh by nine and three quarter lengths. Had a little bit of a turn of foot at the end, but it wasn't enough to win. Um, you know, and plus he hit the gate going out of it. What can you do? Before that, he ran in the Southwest at Elkhorn, not uh, yes, the Southwest Stakes, not uh, Kim Kardashian's and uh, Kanye West's new kid, but um, it, um, I think they have a kid named like Northwest or something like that. But um, but um, in the Southwest at Elkhorn, mile 16, February the 18th, the horseman is fifth by five and a quarter likes was very wide that day, and just couldn't keep up with the better horses. And then the Smarty Jones at Oakland one mile, January 25th, he finished six by six and a quarter lengths as a very one to heavy one to two favorite who I back that day. He ran absolutely cramp, but his, his last very good race came in the springboard mile at Remington, where he finished second by head. He had a great turn of foot from the backpack. He just missed, but he ran well there, and then the sleepy hollow at Belmont going Molly won by five and three quarter. Last time against State Breads, he, he just took off clear. He's facing State Breads again. He's going around a one turn again. I think he'll, you know, the cutback should suit him, and I think he'll run a really good race. So at five and two, I'll take him as a top selection. I know five two, it's a ship price, but he's a, he's a single for me in the moment to race so let's off the let's me end the meet well so to recap my selection for the ninth from aqueducts new york stallions gonna go with the four horse banquets i'm gonna go four eight five eleven in the super facto so good luck to all please follow me on twitter at horse racing kid five good luck everybody